Hi, my name is Paul Harris. We're talking about some Dutch oven cooking today. I'd like to show you what we're going to try to make today. is a bit of lamb roast with some potatoes and some onions and mushrooms along with some homegrown rosemary. We're going to cook it right here in this Dutch oven. And we're going to use the secret ingredient, which I'm cheating with a little bit, which is some store-bought classic vinaigrette. Pour this on, it'll make it real good. So uh, stand by and we'll show you how we mix it all up and how it works. Okay, so we've got the Dutch oven greased up. This is a deep style Dutch oven because we're going to be cooking this fairly large bit of lamb. So the first thing we'll do is we'll put that lamb right in there. Notice how it's got the fat side down. We're going to put that in the middle. Then we're going to add a little of the potatoes around here. And at the same time we're going to add a little bit of the mixed onions and mushrooms. Put a few more potatoes in there and just kind of work it around a little bit kind of mound it up then we're going to put some of this on the top of it this will kind of bleed down through the mixture and then to top it off we're going to use the secret ingredient which is this store-bought ready-made balsamic vinegar dressing it's regular salad dressing but in a pinch this really works well with just about any kind of dutch oven thing We'll just put a liberal amount on there. We'll just let it circulate around. Then we'll finish it off with a little bit of this. Clean it out. And put that down. Last but not least, we're going to hit it with a little bit of fresh ground pepper. And we'll put a little bit of some store-bought Italian spicing just to kind of give it a little bit of different thing. And we will put the big lid on it here. This will clamp down, we'll take it out, and we'll put it in the oven. So here we are out uh, on the patio. We're going to get the coals going. We're going to fire up this Dutch oven. A uh, little word about how to figure temperature and so on. Uh, you usually take the size of the Dutch oven, which in this case is a 14-inch, and you double that to 28. That gives you 350 degrees with the normal temperatures and normal wind conditions. Sometimes you have to adjust a little bit up or down depending on what's going on. But what I do is I take half of 14, which is 7, and I lay that out in a circular pattern on the bottom. And then I've added one in the middle just for good luck. And uh, I'll lift the Dutch oven up and I'll set it down. It has these little legs that kind of hold it up off there. Then the rest of the uh, coals we're going to stack up one by one on the outside rim and all things being equal that should give us about 350 to 375 in terms of temperature inside. So we'll come back here in a little bit and I'll show you a couple other tricks on how to keep this thing going and get the best possible heat distribution.